everybody! Today I want us to talk about something I think a lot of creative people struggle with and I also want to share with you the best artist resource that you will ever find. So I've also written a short blog post about this on my website which I will link in the description box just in case you've not seen that yet. So first of all I have a question for you and I want you to think about the answer honestly. Have you ever held back from creating something because you don't feel like you have the right tools? I know I have many times. When I started my art journey, I would just gaze at all the paints in the art shop and think to myself, if only I had the money to buy these gorgeous colours, I just know my art would be so much better. And when I admired other artists and their work, I thought, wow, they must have really good quality oil paints to make that. It's so lifelike. And this is the reason I started selling my artwork. If I could sell some art to buy better paints, then my artwork would become better. I'm really intrigued to see if anyone else feels this way now, or maybe remembers a time when they did. So, if you can relate to some of these feelings, just please leave a comment because it would mean so much. So, anyway, I sold some artwork and my collection of paints grew and grew, but I felt so frustrated because my artwork wasn't improving, and I couldn't understand it. If this wasn't going to make me a better artist, then what was? But anyway, I decided just to carry on practicing no matter what. And I drew continuously every day and focused especially on drawing things that I wasn't good at. And in time, my drawings did improve. And I realised that it had absolutely nothing to do with the materials I owned. But it did have everything to do with the practicing and studying references. I realised how much I'd held back from being who and what I wanted because of the feelings of not having enough. I felt like I couldn't start my YouTube channel because my studio wasn't big enough and it didn't look aesthetic and I also thought I couldn't grow my Instagram because I didn't have an expensive camera. But the truth is we live in such a commercial world that everywhere we turn we're just bombarded with the idea that we don't have enough or we need this and that. Now I have more paint than I ever thought I would, but has it helped me get better at art? Not really, no. Don't get me wrong, I love using my paints and they give me so much more freedom with my work than I ever had, but has it made me better at drawing? Definitely not, and I still have such a long way to go. So if any of you out there feel like you're holding back from expressing yourself, please find a way to not down those negative restraints and that illusion of not having the right materials. Find something that you can use to explore your creativity. I wanted to paint today using only coffee and water as my medium, and my brushes were just a couple of pounds, so it really doesn't need to cost a lot to just express yourself. Our artwork is dependent on our passion, our work ethic, and our drive to become better, and the best artist resource that you will ever need is you. So thank you for listening to all my ramblings and this painting is actually for sale so I will pop the link in the description box if you would like it and I really hope that you enjoy the rest of the video.